this is Gun Bunny Customs, and today I'm going to film my first instructional video on how to break down a ram cycle so that you can paint it like I've done the Tiger Force one, and like I'm going to do this one that's already been broken down and primed. I'm going to show you step by step <clears throat> how to take it apart and what tools I use and um, all the techniques I, I use on um, when I when I paint. So. I sold my original Dreadnought cycle and um, I want to make myself another one, an updated one. So the one that's primed is going to end up being that one. But I'm going to show you how to break it down with this one and then show you how to paint it with that one. <clears throat> so the the hardest part about this, um, about breaking this down, is taking out these plugs. <clears throat> Once you take out these plugs, they're just they're just little screws in there and it's just actually like basically the same size as like the o-ring like the back of an o-ring once you take those plugs out you'll remove the screws and then there are um four friction posts one in each wheel and two right here um on the on the on the drivetrain here or where the where the chain is so <clears throat> the first thing you got to do is take an exacto knife and you're going to heat it up i heat mine up here at my uh, in my my work studio with the uh, with the heat gun. <clears throat> I know a lot of guys do the boil and pop, and uh, it's actually a, a, a far better technique than uh, breaking stuff down. But I can't boil a you know a whole fucking pot of water right here, so um, I use this. And uh, you got to be careful with it because the the heat is way more concentrated than than with the boiling water, which. <clears throat> puts an even uh, malleability into the into the plastic whereas this one it, it's 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 a little bit directed more and more a uh, confined area so you got to let that heat up and then you're going to press it into these plugs and then let it sit in there for a minute for the plastic to cool and then you'll be able to pop them out and it does create a, a little slit an indention and a slit in each one but as you as you uh, when you pull them out you can sand them and you can fill them again with like um, any kind of like modeling putty or as you paint you can just put a little bit thicker paint in there and um, plug that hole all the majority of the techniques that I use while making any one of my customs <clears throat> I use uh, the techniques I used to build models when I was when I was younger um, so it's the same process of breaking it down, washing the plastic, scuffing it with a scotch bright pad. So then that way the, the primer has something to, to grab onto and then painting. You can either brush paint or airbrush. I'll be using both. Um, and I'll be using, um, these are the colors that I've selected. And they're, um, two are from Vallejo and one is from uh, Army Painters Rising Sunset, <clears throat> which is awesome. So let's see if it's hot enough. And usually the way this works out is out of out of the, the the five plugs, four of them come out easy, and one of them is a is a fucking pain in the ass. And it's just the way that the world works. <clears throat> so you take it. Press it in. Give it a second to to cool off so it, it, it'll, it'll uh, contract kind of back on to the um, to the uh, knife so and then you do it so sometimes it takes a couple of times to, to do it some plugs will come out easy some will come out um, with uh, a bit more difficulty it's just depending on how they laid in there once you pull them out you'll see that there is a, a groove in the in the on the side of the plug and then there's like a little kind of uh, notch or whatever inside so they line up so you can always line them up correctly um so see and then it'll come right out <clears throat> you just got to repeat that step until um until you got them on there once it's in there you can see that there's a just a regular screw in there and so usually what i do is i get these little capsules that come off my son's little juices and i put all of the um the small parts in there so i don't lose them so you take that plug out And then you can just unscrew it. 
screw comes out. Repeat that with all the plugs, and then um, and then we will jump on to how to remove those uh, the, the friction posts. So the other thing that I don't do is I don't take off the tires. So when we get to painting these, and you'll know the difference between the front and back is the back has uh, brake rotors on both sides and the front only has it in one, and then you can only put that one on one way. But I'm basically just gonna tape this off and uh, paint those. Okay. okay, so the next part you wanna do is you wanna heat up the side that is plastic. If you look at, if you look here, um, on these points where the friction where the friction posts go into the to, to the um, to the far side, it's plastic. That's the side you want to heat up. You want to make sure you don't heat up this side where the where the, the heads are are because if you heat up this side and you try to pull it through, um, it's gonna it's gonna tear up the inside part of this and it's gonna make this sit funny. And when you try to pry this off, which we were gonna do, um, there's no way around it. You're going to mess up a little bit right here, but you can fix it later by kind of reheating. Um, that part and messing with it and I'll show that to you. So then this is what I do. Instead of boiling it and you know setting up a pot of water on this stuff, I'll just hold it here for a couple of minutes while I uh, watch the sopranos. And then you just kind of, you don't want it to stay uh, consistently low because the, the plastic will start to buckle. And um, I've done that on, on a few of my projects. I, I, I fucked up that Buzz Lightyear trunk like that at the bottom, trying to remove that that circular um, barrel tank. It, it opens up. It's supposed to be like a tool chest, but it's, I can't figure out how it's attached to the to the bed. So I tried to really heat up the bottom part of that to see if I could just pop it off, and I ended up heating it up so much that the the, the bed started to kind of uh, come in on itself. Um, so then that's why I stopped uh, trying to take everything apart on that one. So you're going to want to heat this up and then you're going to take a pry tool or, or like a, a flathead screwdriver or something like that to wedge in between where the, where the chain goes uh, you know, uh, and where, the, uh, where it meets the, the, the body, the body of the, of the toy. So let's see. So you do that, and then we're gonna stick this in here, and we're just gonna slowly pry it. And we're gonna try not to mangle it up too, too bad, because what you're gonna do is, you're not going to fully pull it out from this side. What you're gonna do is you're gonna create space for the heads of these to be able to uh, be pulled out with this. And I'll show you here what I'm talking about. In just a second, once we create enough because if you keep doing that, you're just going to keep pulling on this and pulling on this and pulling on this, and it's going to be all, all all out of whack. As you can see, I'm trying to show you, it's creating where the where the head of this is exposed. So you want to keep doing that until you have enough of that of that head exposed, so you can grab onto it with these um, with these vice grips, and then you'll you'll have enough leverage to just pull them all out without really destroying or marring anything, and you'll be able to do that on the front. Uh, will as well, but like I said, you gotta you gotta kind of go slow with heating it and and do things at a slow pace so you don't you don't mess up the plastic. You don't you don't have to spend a lot of time you know repairing stuff or, or, or fixing mistakes. And as these continue, I'm also gonna you know throw out like uh, I don't know I guess just tips or you know knowledge or advice of you know things that I see that are really simple things that that other customizers could do that will give you know give their 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 customs a, a, a next level kind of look just real simple stuff like even just taking a second pass at, at, uh, at painting it it's nothing is ever done correctly on the first shot you know what i'm saying you're always you're always going to have to kind of come back and and touch things up and and until you you get it ex exactly right and so Pulling that out. This motherfucker got hot. out 
I'm trying to get in there someplace like it just comes out just like that. And then you put that one in there and then you move on to the second one. So there. So like I said, you're gonna have a little bit of damage right here, but when it's hot you can kinda kind of push it back out, work it back out a little bit and kind of smooth it out with um, with sanding or um, you know, like a little bit of putty. Okay. So now we got that out. So now we can break this apart. So this little tool just works itself in. And she pops out like this. The windshield, you can just put a light pull on it and it comes out. And you have this, so you have the, the side with the screws, the slide that, the side that's clean, the windshield, the kickstand pops right off. The footboard pops right off. You have the chain, the dry shaft, or whatever that is. Um, so then all you have left is this one. So then you have this plug here, a screw. This comes off, and then you have this. <clears throat> and then that's um, pretty much it. So then also you'll have your uh, rear tail light. And then you'll have your, your headlight. And once you once you you know start breaking it down, you'll see. I don't pop this off. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I want to you know risk it. So usually I just take this when I paint it because this is going to be in, you know it's inside of the uh, the cowling here, so it's not seen. So I usually just take this and I paint this down, and then I'll come back and hand hand paint that part. Uh, so then that way I try not to I try not to lose the detail of the uh, of the gauges that it has because it's actually really great detail, really fine detail. They did a great job with that. Okay, let's see here. This one comes out, so that way we can get this video over with. Uh, yeah, last one out. Let's do that. Separates. So then you want to heat up this side. Uh, for whatever reason, I fell in love with that movie as a kid and as an adult. I, I still like them. And right now, um, I'm working on my first uh, Dick Tracy custom. Um, as a child, I was always pissed that. Not all the characters in the original uh, massacre at the beginning of that movie were, were made, and the two that weren't made were Stu Villar and uh, Littleface. So I am about ninety percent done with my first one in Stu Villar, and then I was uh, making an attempt at, at Littleface. But then that's it. That's the end of the. Let me turn that off. That's the end of it. That's that's all the pieces right there. That's that's as far as I break it down. Like I said, I don't take the tires off. Um, I'm afraid to get to get them hot and, and, and have them warped because once that happens, I mean, there's there's no fixing that. So to me, it's just easier to, to put tape, regular blue M, blue tape on there and, you know, really create that indention and then, you know, cut it out with a scalpel. Okay, so that's the end of my first uh, video of how to break down uh, the RAM cycle.
please like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram.